it was unexpected and unprecedented. A Rose Bowl birth and triumph for Northwestern New Year's Day 1949. A Wildcat squad of mostly World War II veterans pulled off what seemed purely a pipe dream in the fall of 48. Four of the players guard Fatso Day, tackle Bill Foreman, guard Ed Nemeth, and fullback Gaspar Paracone shared their memories at a 60-year reunion in Evanston. You know, Northwestern University is uh, not a football power, or hadn't been, but we were that year. We won all but two of our games, and we ended up going to the Rose Bowl, which was really kind of uh, remarkable. Well, I don't think anybody had that, that such high hopes, but nobody had told us to be afraid of anybody, so we, uh, we just stuck to it, and uh, we'd win one after the other. Our guys were so well tightly knit and so well known to each other, and you know, we were really like brothers at that time. Campus 1-8, they were really celebrating. In fact, uh, they raised such a fuss, the president of the school declared a week holiday. Well, everybody was out of their dorms, you know, and we went down to the women's quad, and they put us up on the balcony, and uh, we had a great time, and a lot of cheering, and uh, a lot of fun. The student body actually, for the first time, I think, in, in history, uh, closed the, the campus. They marched at the, uh, or they blocked the entrance to the campus at the main gate. The uh, Northwestern paper daily came out, roses, roses, roses. And of course the Chicago Council, they come out with their paper said onions, onions, onions. <laughs>press was very, very negative. They followed us around uh, a great deal. I won't comment on what they caught us doing. <laughs> and published in the newspapers. They published pictures of some of the men uh, having a beer uh, in a bar. I, I thought that was kind of a low blow at the time. I still do. We were in the Brown Derby having a beer, and uh, the press got a hold of that and talked about us. Uh, carousing the streets of California. We were, we were out of that hotel maybe an hour and a half. That's all the boys, boys would allow us to be out. Even uh, the national media announcers, I'm talking about sports people, they thought we didn't have a prayer, you know, and they were pretty upset about the fact that we were selected to go. So they weren't looking forward. They thought they had a shoe in, I think. It just happened so quickly and, you know, things just fell in place. And when Frank broke loose, uh, he just took off. And it, it was an exciting play. There was total silence from this gigantic uh, crowd and a very, very small Northwestern contingent. And the silence was overwhelming. No one could believe that we had uh, scored first. We scored on Ashenbrenner's 73-yard uh, 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 run, and the crowd couldn't believe it. We got in a huddle, and uh, one of the players said, hey, boys, this is going to be easy. Well, it wasn't. Ne it's never easy. I was in that pile on the, on the line, and it looked to me like he had just crossed the goal line. A couple of our players were on the bottom of the pile, never really saw it, but we backed him up. It was a well-executed play. Uh, unless Murakowski had uh, completely uh, fumbled the ball, uh, and I know he did not, it was a score. We were all very nervous because there, was, there wasn't much time left. On fourth down, about the 50-yard line, Gaspar Perra going. He made that last two yards on his own because he was he was should have been stopped, but he wasn't. We had a couple instances in that drive where we needed a yard or two, and that was my job. 
that's what I did for a living. When I played at Northwestern, I was uh, the one who get the short game. They were not prepared for it, and uh, when Tunnicliffe broke loose, uh, you know, a couple of, we made a couple of key blocks, and boy, he took off. The ball was snapped, and I took two or three steps to the right and headed directly toward the uh, goal line where a man was standing. And it was uh, a very simple maneuver. I took him out. I remember running out and all of a sudden seeing Eddie break loose. I just stopped dead. Some of their players didn't realize that he had broken loose, uh, but it was too late. I'm sure that it was, the element of surprise was very significant. I don't think that California was looking for any sort of razzle-dazzle from the Northwestern team. It was pretty exciting because it, it, it was touch and go up to that point. And the fact that uh, Pee Wee intercepted that ball, uh, it stopped their momentum and it gave us the opportunity to hold it at that point and, uh, and basically win the game. Discipline was gone. When Pee Wee caught that ball, we knew we won the ball game. Then everyone jumped up and was, was, uh, was chaos. We were so surprised and so delighted that, that we are going to win the Rose Bowl. We knew uh, that we were a better team, and uh, we went there to win, and of course we did.